Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Mogbe. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Taya Salam. All right, this is what the show looks like. Uh, of course, we're counting down to that international friendly against Brazil on Sunday. And the Super Eagles have started arriving in Singapore for the match. Absolutely. We can't wait for it to take place. And these are the guys, some of them have landed in Singapore. And from the Super Eagles of Nigeria, we'll move straight to the Golden Eaglet. They are off to Brazil for the under-17 FIFA World Cup. We're wishing them all the best. Absolutely. Look at all those faces. Perhaps yeah. in the next four or five years, they will be playing for the Nigerian national team. That is the Super Eagles. Also on the show, uh, still uh, yeah, on the home front. This time, uh, club football, Rangers International and um, Rangers International and Aimba have found out their opponents in the CAF Confederation Cup. They're going to be playing opposition from Togo. Absolutely. It's going to be a tough one for these two sides. But the good thing is they are drawn apart so they won't meet. For Aimba and Rangers are the best. I hope they can get something. Yeah, out and, of this one. yeah, I mean, when you get to the final round of qualifiers, um, it's always going to be tough. There's mm -hmm. no two ways about it then. But if you now look at the oppositions, though, our opposition from Togo and South Africa, TS Galaxy and ASC Cara. I don't know how you want to describe that, but it still promises to be a tough one uh, for any back. <laughs> but that's the last <laughs> huddle for them to scale before they get into the group stage. So wish them all the best. Okay. We're not starting with football. We're starting uh, with tennis. The Lagos Open day four is today. A few Nigerians will be in action. But let's review everything that went down, first of all, yesterday. That's day three. First round action. A few Nigerians managed to get into the second round. And I'm smiling because uh, it is uh, fantastic news uh, for tennis fans. Let's start off with Joseph Ime. Uh, I took on Mohamed Mohamed. And he won that game in straight set. So 6-3. Six love to advance into the second round. Emmanuel yeah. Doko as well, too, was in action, was in fine form, uh, taking on opposition from Kenya, Kibet, Yego, and he, win, and he won that particular matchup, 7-5, 6-1. Uh, Elsewhere, Jatin Dahia defeated Ayobami Phillips, 6-4, 6-2, so that's the end of the road for that Nigerian, while Calvin Emery defeated Sylvester Emmanuel, 6-1, 6-2. So, so uh, two Nigerians are dancing to the second round, all the others uh, just fell by the wayside. In the sense that taking a stand, he feels they were not taking a stand, they were a bit soft, when they were asked questions concerning the China deal and everything. I think that's where the, his, his concern uh, is all about. Maybe he wanted it to be vocal. He wanted, he wanted to go all out like, all he, out like he usually do, no, and not well, everyone yeah, can that's do not, that. That's not how it works. And that's why I love... Uh, uh, Adams, when he talked about the, Adam Silva, when he talked about the fact that everyone has the right to say whatever he wants to say, but you know that when it happens, there are consequences for that, and that's what the NBA is likely to face, losing so much in China. Okay, okay let's go and talk about um, the pre action itself. Games, now, yeah. NBA preseason uh, right now. A lot of games that went down late last night and early uh, this morning, and everyone is talking about Zion Williamson, the rookie, not the rookie of the year, but very <laughs> likely to be the rookie of the year. <laughs> but I don't want to get to Come on, Tyre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the number Leave one this draft pick. Stars alone. <laughs> number one draft pick, uh, Zion Williamson. Everyone is looking to get a you know feel of what he can do in the NBA, and uh, we saw just mm -hmm. a tiny bit of what this guy is going to bring to the court um, when the season tips off in the friendly against the Chicago. Uh, Bulls. The Pelicans are winning that particular matchup, 127. Edging it. <laughs> edging it, 127 to 125. And the highlight of this particular game was a powerful 360 dunk between two defenders by Zion Williamson. Mm -hmm. And, um, okay, yeah, let's, let's get the other results out of the way. And before I talk about Zion, Cecilia, mm -hmm. uh, in other matchups, uh, Utah Jazz are lost against the Milwaukee, Milwaukee Bucks, Bucks, 133 to 99. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Hornets uh, lost to the Miami Heat, 108-94. Uh, the matchup between the Orlando Magic and the Atlanta Hawks ended 97-88. The Mavericks defeated, or actually they lost, 117-124 to so the Detroit Pistons. Derek Rose, 18 points for that one. All right, okay, talk about Zion talk quickly. About, yeah, 360 dunk. How do you do <laughs> that, man? Uh, <laughs> I wish I had watched that game. Yeah. <laughs> from, from, from the little highlights and all that that we saw, it was actually 12 of the 133 from the field for 29 points 
and was able to help the Pelicans. They rally from 23 points deficit to be able to, you know, edge out the Chicago Bulls. A tough one, and it shows that that's a guy you can really rely on mm. this season. You already named him Rookie of the Year, but the season has only been <laughs> starting, and he's making his debut I got carried away there. overall draft mm. and this season, and everyone is already a poster boy for the club. But we'll, we'll see what's going to happen in this one. But I think for him, He's one of those big boys that will always come to the party mm. from what I've seen so I mean, far for, in preseason. Exactly. And um, the, the New Orleans Pelicans are obviously going to build their franchise around, uh, him. around Zion Williams. They're not forgetting Lonzo Ball as well. It's mm. very interesting to see. Lonzo uh, Ball. Is, the, the, is the consistency and all that is what worries me. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, um, you know, young players are bound to be inconsistent. It's normal. So uh, the more games that he plays in the NBA, the more consistent he gets. I'm not really worried about Alonzo Ball. But for okay. Zion, uh, like I said, uh, it's not only a powerful player that brings you highlights you know, during games. It's also very effective. Uh, like Cecilia mentioned, 12 of 13 from yeah. the field. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. That's, that's massive. That's big. Yeah. That's huge. That's why I said he always comes to the party. But it wasn't just him alone. Let's yeah. talk about Jahil Okafor. Man. Okay, Jahil. Yeah, yeah. Jahil. Got 13 points, yeah. Us for it's good to see Jaleel <laughs> playing uh, very well again. Uh, I remember when he was first uh, drafted, law was expected. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for whatever reason, he couldn't uh, leave up. Maybe the pressure got too much. It was and too much, and it, was, it was very quiet for a while, but we saw him return uh, last, last season, season. Uh, to play He's making progress. Uh, really well. Before we leave the NBA, let's uh, talk about Yanis uh, Adetokounmpo as well, too. He was in action for the Milwaukee Bucks in the 133. So 99 victory over the Utah Jazz. Giannis, once again, filling the start sheets like he normally does. 22 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, while Chris Middleton and Brooke Lopez added 14 points each for the box. Don't want to say anything about mm -hmm. the box, um, perhaps because we know they will probably win the Easter game. And then they will come into the playoffs and maybe and, when you needed them to actually perform, yeah. and they are out. All right. Okay. You're welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. We're not being joined by Olawale Shola. Hello, Ali. It's great to have you on the show. Well, good morning, Tyler. Good mm. morning, Cecilia. I'm yeah. happy to be back in the studio once again. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's been yeah. a year, yeah. <laughs> so, has it really been a while? Okay, I didn't say no. last week, right? Okay, it's just last like week, weeks, so, so yeah. Okay. It, feels long, it feels longer than that. Um, hello, Ali. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Um, oh, yeah. We're still doing a post mortem of everything that went down in Doha. Doha, Doha. yes. yes. So, we're very interested to get your overall thoughts on Nigeria's performance. And uh, But before we do that, uh, Cecilia, we're still talking Formula One, and there's a very, very Good chance that the Japanese Grand Prix might not hold yeah. because of this our typhoon yeah. Ajibis. Yeah. I mean, look at them pictures. This is what it's Scary. looking like right now. Scary one. Area. So basically, Formula One officials are closely monitoring uh, typhoon Ajibis and its potential impact on the Japanese Grand Prix with changes yeah. to this weekend timetable a possibility. So if it's just changes to the timetable, that would be fantastic. Uh, it would be a lot better than the also Total cancellation. cancellation, which is going to affect the whole season. Exactly. So the Super Typhoon is set to hit Japan's East Coast on Saturday. And because of that, two Rugby World Cup matches on that day, England. that is the matchup between England and France, and New Zealand and Italy have been cancelled already. So. As the country braces itself for extreme winds yeah. and heavy rain. Oof. <sighs> okay. Nature, Stay there's right. not much Nature. you can do there's about nothing. it. Yeah, it's, it's just that that's what... That's what it, it is. It is what it is, right? So they're brazing up for this one. Mm. So that's why they're monitoring the situation to see if the race will go ahead or not. Or they'll just alter the timetable. Qualifiers may not hold. Everything you're still looking at it, right? Goodness okay. gracious. Because I mean, stuff like this, they all our mm. you know, situations like this, you're not only thinking about the drivers and the officials, you're thinking of the fans as well. Yes. They are supposed to come out come yes. and now watch out these events. You know, it's it's not a beatable and not comfortable for sport as it is now. <laughs> Yeah. Because you have to think about the safety of everybody, yeah. apart from the, from the drivers, mm -hmm. the firms, and, and the environment. Mm. So because uh, by the time, you know, something like um, a natural disaster like this, it will only affect the human part, which I put the facilities to. Mm. So before they can put it in place, let's hope, hopefully it subsided, it, it subsides and uh, mm. we, can get, we can get the Events rolling. event on. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's it for that one. We'll keep monitoring ourselves yeah. and uh, by tomorrow we'll have a you know, better indi indication. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. All right. Okay, leaving this one, uh, you, you mentioned earlier, we're still having review of uh, what happened in Doha, talking about the IWF World Championship and the NOC, talking about Nigeria Olympic Committee 
uh, Secretary General have been talking about Team Nigeria's performance. The reason why they perform well in Africa and also at the world stage is different. But the good thing is we still have months to prepare for the Olympics. So he's thinking that with the kind of performance that some of them churn out, they will be able to go further and get prepared well for the Olympics and it will be a better performance for some of these athletes. Africa is Africa. All the, the indication that we have now is that we need to work harder. We need to up our training. We need to ensure that we don't take things for granted. And is the wake-up call for the Olympics. I'm not uh, totally disappointed because we still have about eight months to the Olympics. So they, can, they can still correct themselves. It is, they are not too far away from the timing. And most of them, I think that that is the most probably have the ranking of either A or B. So, and uh, when they are categorized as A, then they are very close to the place. When they are B standard, then they have to work harder. And luckily, I don't think we have any C standard if there's anyone there. Absolutely no C standard. So it was not really too bad for Team Niger. You had like three getting into the finals. Really? And Bruno also, <laughs> Bruno, we were talking about preparations and everything. I yeah. love the fact that it was, you know, he wasn't really too critical of the well, athletes. What is there to love that. about that? Why are you well, he the wasn't fact too critical wasn't about it because critical. You, you know why? Because we've checked out preparations and what went down before oh, okay. the oh. World Championships oh, and all right. that. And mm. we know, we said it right here, mm. we just have two athletes we can rely on. And these two athletes didn't disappoint. Mm. And that was what went down. So, mm. I mean, uh, you know, what do you uh, think? Well, first of all, I'll say uh, this time around, we were able to come home, come home with something. Yeah. As a Brumman winning the bronze after almost six years, the last, last time we, we, we were at the podium was at Moscow. When Blessed Oka Bari won bronze and silver. So it's a, it's a Brumman winning this time. Well, the, the, the field was uh, strong enough. Yes. But Tyre Cecilia, you didn't go to the World Championship and the Olympics, expect a miracle, mm. do you understand? You have to be on the upward curve. You yeah, have to be on the work, edge work of being work. there. It's the Brumman has been performing very well all over the season. Our best sleep was 7.05, but she was able to muster 6.91. Losing the, the, the silver medal was 6.92. Why Maliki Milambu? <laughs> that, was a, that was a huge lead. 7.30 meters. So, <laughs> it, you know, it, it, it is. What, what tells you that? It's a Brume yeah. is an Olympic medal hopeful. Hopeful. Absolutely. You Correct. understand? Now, the next person I'll talk about is Tobilaba Amuso. Tobilaba mm. Amuso is the African champion in right. all those. He's the Commonwealth champion in all those. Even against all odds. Yeah. You understand? If she beats Tenena Daniels of, mm. of Jamaica at the Commonwealth. Mm. But unfortunately, I was watching that race that day. She got out so slow late start. from the blocks. Yeah, it was a slow mm. start. She had a very low slow start. But her stride on 50 meters was, was, was marvelous. Mm. She almost got the bronze. Yeah. Almost, she almost, almost got the so bronze. 0 .0 and luckily, she, she, she's, she's there in the midst of um, uh, Texas, El Paso. She'll be, she'll, 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 be, she'll be finishing her exams in December. She'll have like six, seven months to concentrate on the Olympics. I'm putting my bed on to blow by Musso. Now, the next part I'll talk about that, with Ese Brume to blow by Musso. They are sprinters, yeah. you understand? But they just decided to concentrate on their major areas of strength. Long AFN bodies. and our coaches should start training Ese Brume and Tobiloba Musa with a blessing of God. And let's find another content for us to complete for that format. Yes, for relays. It is very, very important. The reason why I'm saying this is that Tobiloba Musa, Ese Brume are athletes that can run sub-11. When you have athletes that can run sub-11 with blessing of God, run it sub-10. You have a chance of winning for my 100 meters, at least a bronze. Okay, okay. okay. Now, the reason why I'm saying all this is that, Cecilia, all this time combines together for you to get to the podium. Yeah, we will. But the, 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 the thing is, if you check uh, hurdles, I mean, check the hurdles event yes. and the relay event, usually it's the same day. So, why do you expect an athlete to go to uh, do the hurdles and also having to join the relay team? And check S. A. Brumman also. Yes. It's not just one jump. You have three rounds, right? Yes. So you do that three yes. rounds, then yes. before you, then you know, go oh, join yes. the other team for the relays. What if the time frame, that's where the problem is. Do you know that? What if the time frame it's, it's, is so it's, close? It's not, it's not always like that at the Olympics. 
Yeah, well, you have to look at the timetable first. Oh, no, no, you yeah, yes, thinking of yes, how you're going yes. to train these athletes. Until I said the timetable. What if you pick other athletes? Who we've seen, I mean, we, we, we saw a lot. Them, we have them. 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 You cannot pick the other athletes. They got, they're not giving us all sort of time. Oh, 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 okay, S.A. Brumem and uh, Toby Loba Toby. Muson. It was all training, Toby, right? Red Hard Red work. Side. You can actually do that. And you can't do that. You can't do that. In nine, in nine, nine, nine months. months to the Olympics. Okay, let's leave that. You have to be churning out that time, like two years to the Olympics. Because you have to hear the form, the yeah, form comes like Olympics. that. You okay. have to hear the stride. Okay. If you don't hear the stride, you can't do that. Well, like, More work for uh, Ese Brume uh, and uh, Tobiloba Abuso. Uh, Tobiloba did it, uh, the, the African Senior Championship. Yes, right, in did, she did it. Because did it. it was in the same thing. I, so I agree with you. Reason. When we see the time table so the Olympics, we have to consider all that. We are, we yes, are open yeah. to but we should get prepared now. Okay. Those, are, those are the hopefuls. So what you're saying is, Joy Udo Gabriel, Rosemary Chukuma, uh, Messi, all those other girls that are specialists on uh, 100 meters, you know, uh, runners, uh, mm. should be taken off the scene. For they should not be. No, no, the, 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 no, that's the, what you're saying. That's what you're saying. What I'm saying is that the relate team. Yeah, those, the are, the girl, those are the girls that make they up the relate team. Yeah, the, 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 the relate team. team is not only for four. Okay, for, you're for, thinking for they should athletes. draft them they should for, the finals. for the finals. Okay. So if they don't make it, fine. But if they make it, you draft them in. You can't tell me that it's all beloved by Musa. That runs for all those 12.84 yeah. will run a sub 11. Is she's ahead of Rosemary yeah. Chuk Chukamenka Chuk Chuk in, Chuk in 100 meters? Mm. Do you okay, understand? so all the things matter. Sire, let, let, let's be factual in athletics. The time you turn out in two years, mm -hmm. you understand, it's the major time you turn out in the major tournaments. Now, what gets you on the, on the groove for the major tournament that six months of the major tournament, your meet. You have to be on the edge. You have to be very close to the time. But if you're running a, a sub 12, yeah, 11, you understand the 11, sub 12. Let's, let's be factual. Yeah, you're running against the ja Americans, the Jamaicans. But you I think it's the, the age Britons. thing, just with time. I think uh, Rosemary Chukmash is still very Rosemary young. Chukuma, John Gabriel Ro Ro still Ro very Ro young. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have a chance. Mm -hmm. They have a I'm chance to start running yeah, a sub 11. To run time. sub 11. Because Sub 11 by Muson and is a brumate when they started. They were on sub 12. So okay. they started improving, started improving how they got there. <laughs> so, but to me, oh, Ali. you can you have think it's too a, short. a six team of, um, really? of, of relating or eight members of a relating. Pool. A, you pool, have a pool of so that. that you can choose from. Oh, Ali, just to, um, you know, just for the records, yes. uh, it's a Brumet's personal best of the 100, is uh, 1141. Yes, that's not bad. Sub 11 is uh, 1131, PB. And you're talking about sub 11. They're a long way from sub 11. No, what I'm, what, no, tell you what I'm saying is that that, that that's not their specialty. Do you understand? They yeah, but they're, do, they're, they're a long better. way from 10 to 11. Has, even has so a better 11, chance. I beg your pardon, yeah. No, so Bilobas mm -hmm. has, even has a better chance. 11.31. Yeah, it's not bad. that's a long way from sub that's eleven. No, 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 no. Way. You know what, what I'm saying? That, you're talking about sub ten. That's sub eleven. It's already, she was already on sub eleven. Do you understand? You're talking about sub ten. No, no, no. no. She's the talking best about time. Sub, the best time for she can't run. She hasn't run a sub time eleven yeah. shorter than eleven. So it's, she's hey, on eleven thirty one. No, no. So, sub sub ten means. 10, 10 points, something. No way. Sub 10 is 9.9. Mm. .9. That's, That's for guys, not for women. Oh, mm. sorry. Yeah. Sub, <laughs> no, no. Sorry, sub 10. You're talking about sub 11, no. so not sub 10. Sub, sub 9 is 9.9, 9.8, 9.7. No, that's, okay, that's 8 limit. point something. If it's no. sub 9, you're running below 10. 9 seconds. If you're running... Okay, sorry. Uh, Tell us, Cecilia, let's go for now. If you're what going to I'm run sub 11, that. you're going to have to run 10 points... 99 or something. Not top of 99, okay. Below 11 but seconds. But what, what I'm saying These is... These ladies are a long way from they are below long 11. Way, but if you check out the, the, the list of our best time in 100 meters, apart from Blessing of Cadbury, mm. Tobeloba and Ese Brume still have faster times than Rosemary. What's no, the best no, time for Rosemary? No, 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 no. I don't think so. I, I, th I think if, if you look at the age of these girls, that's what I'm looking at, how long they start competing. We're not talking I about mean, we, age. We just we're, discovered... we're, we're talking about our chances. I think age, but, How competitive okay. we are. Let's, li let's leave this one. And I mean, I mean another question that people have been raising happens to be the fact that you're having, you know, athletes that are so good. When we spoke to Franca Iduko on Tuesday, she mm. talked about the fact that, look, Favor Ophelia is one athlete that everyone needs to watch out for. That if the Germans should come for her, she will actually encourage her uh, <laughs> to, to jump in. <laughs> but then the reason for this has been explained by these two people that we interviewed concerning most athletes leaving their country, leaving Nigeria specifically to want to run for other athletes, so for other country, and it's all about welfare. What is important for us is to prevent, to do things that will not make, that will ensure that other athletes don't go. 
And I believe they've seen it. I'm sure when they come back, we'll have opportunity to talk around it. And I'm also happy that uh, the new minister has said something in that line, that he's going to look at the Atlas welfare. So those are some of the things that created the problem. Atlas, they have very short lifespan. And some of them might want to go where they can quickly reap the benefit of his time. So um, I think the responsibility falls on us to ensure that we work harder, to, ensure that, to make sure that some of these analysts don't go away like that. When you, when you refuse to fulfill your part of a uh, commitment, and every time I'm seen as a rebel, and uh, in order not to expect you to suspend me or expel me, then I look for a place that is conducive. If you are my landlord and you are not treating me very well, I have the option to take a leave. Or if you are my employer and I get a better offer without, without cost to anything immoral, uh, it's, a free, it's free to go. And that's why I think IAF uh, gave you, I think, a minimum, minimum of two years before you can actually compete. But in the case of FIFA, once you are locked off, you are, you are locked down because you no know, football is general. But uh, I think it's also, uh, it's also a by when we keep losing our talent, uh, talents, uh, potentials like that, then uh, it also boils down to us that uh, there's no for us to tighten up and make the, make the players have the greater welfare. Because it's similar by you pay an athlete $100 per day, and you, you claim you are a coach or you are a director, and you are collecting such a huge amount. Uh, Whereas you, you should be the other way around, because you are, uh, you are a technocrat. You can, you, can, you can leave that position and go to another field. But me, I don't have any field. I'm a sprinter. And that's what I do. And I have limited time. So it should be commensurate with what I'm going to hand. I'm to represent, your country, represent my country. And if other offer comes, uh, what I've not done, I've not betrayed my country. I've just uh, decided to, uh, to go to another place and where this can work for me. All right. I mean, it's all about welfare. So if you want to keep your athletes and you want them to stay here, especially the talented ones, all you have to do, take good care of them. We've seen what Cyprus did with S.A. Brumen staff and students. And she was coming down. The welcome it was awesome. It was like a hero. I mean, that's not even our country. It's just our university. But here, our athletes landed. and were like, okay, we didn't even know when they came. We checked their Twitter handle. Okay, our oh. Nigerian athletes are back home. And that was it. So when they keep seeing that, how would they feel when they see what they're doing for other athletes? We saw the... Colombian girl who won a gold medal. She got Venezuela, she got home, and we could see the heroic welcome that she received and all. But if we do that with our athletes, I mean, welfare-wise, give them all the things they need, make sure they are welfare top-notch before you can start thinking of, I'm sorry, coaches and officials, before, I mean, the, the athletes are the reason why you're there. Yes. So you should give them VVIP treatment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, Cecilia, not until we win gold that we should now... Yeah. Embrace these people. Mm -hmm. You understand? From them. now, let's encourage them. Let's motivate them. You know, as I said earlier, you know, the, the Olympics will come out with some medals because there is, there is hope at the Olympics with yeah. the performance of our mm -hmm. female athletes at, 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 at Doha. Now, I was surprised when I saw what happened in Cyprus. It's a woman <laughs> who was a little surprised. She was having a coach. So What's good. going on there? Okay. Now, okay. Dina Asha Smith of Brithy, right from the plane. <laughs> British Airways gave her a, a, a rousing welcome. <laughs> By the time she talked on an intro, the old, the old, the old airport was at Guam. She won gold and silver. silver. <laughs> uh, Tayo, you know, it's not until we win gold I know. that you give we your, your yeah, a rousing that, welcome. Okay. Now, <laughs> our, our athletes came back. Yeah. Everything, it won't cost them anything True. to even welcome this people. Yeah. True. You can do a little arcade within the airport mm. and embrace them. True. Yeah. Don't get motivated. True. For, for, it will, it will push them for the future competition. Because okay. as we are talking, someone that didn't do well in this competition, that doesn't mean you won't do in future competitions. Absolutely. Athletes, at, we can, and that is a continuum. It, you go on upward course. Well, we'll continue this discussion. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's move on now with the show now. Let's talk about the NWPL promotional playoffs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's been a good one because in the first game of the day, uh, we talked about the teams that we'll be playing today. If you can just take a look at the a result, starting with the results of what went down yesterday, where you have Olori Babes and Pelican Stars. Olori Babes winning by a lone goal. Mm. And uh, Police Machine and Moje Queens. It was a uh, Police Machine winning. 
uh, three two. So it was five goal thriller. Police mentioned the one were able to bounce back from their opening day defeat to secure a three two win over that uh, Monje Queens. So they went ahead at early goal fifty minutes. Chiamaka Okuchuku was the one who got it. Okuchuku, yeah, very funny name. Oh, uh, it's not that funny. It's okay. <laughs> so the result simply means that Olori Babes are as good as promoted to the Nigerian Women's Premier League with six points from two games where Pelican Stars and Police Mention will know their fate on Friday when the last set of matches will be played. So rest day today, no games today. But then what the table is looking like is the fact that Olori Babes are top eight with two, uh, uh, six points from two games. Goal difference is a plus two, huge one for them. So... They're going to be playing a Pelican. Uh, Pelican FC will have to play. I've played two matches, but they have just three points because they won one. So that's what it's looking like. So okay. Lori Babes likely are already in Nigeria Women's Premier League. Okay. okay, let's go to the CAF Confederation Cup now. The fi final qualification round has the draw has been made and it's going to be uh, aimed by taking on TS Galaxy of South Africa while Rangers uh, will take on uh, Kara of Togo. This Togo is a game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every time you get Togo now, you start yeah, getting worried. Team. Um, that's not, that's that's not that's a good that's thing at all. That's how bad we sunk in football. Wow. You understand? It's so bad that our Super Eagles Team B lost to Togo within a week in two matches. One for one, one to okay. one. You know, tell the... This is what it's looking like. Uh, the confirmation of the, uh, the fixtures, yeah. uh, the yeah. dates and time. And everything else quickly. Hopefully Aiba. by then they'll be ready. Aiba. Aiba. Again, the South African side. That's that will be an acclaimed tax. But it's TS Galaxy. TS no, no, Galaxy. No, no. Apart from being the TS Galaxy, the Nigerian league has not been doing well. Well, that's a major unfortunately, problem. we've been inconsistent. We've not even started the league. So, in terms of uh, match fitness, our players are not there yet. True. And okay. against any South African side. Tell, that, are that, that are playing yeah, already. They are playing already. You have the facilities. Yeah. Things are working fine for them. Yeah. They have invested in their league. Their players are doing well. At least their players go, go, go to Europe. So it will be an accurate tax for Iba. You're right. I would have wished for another country. The, against where Rangers against the Togoli side, Rangers has a better chance than Iba. Okay. But with what is happening now, the implication of what is happening now is that yeah. the Nigerian league is not, used, is not what it used to be. True. Our okay. teams are not formidable, oh, are not yeah. competitive anymore. Oh, oh. And uh, I just wish Aimba and Rangers best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. All best right. of luck, yeah. We need to go on a break now. When we come back, we'll be talking about the amputee football. I mean, they'll be filing out today against Tanzania for a place in the final.